Hi, my name is Keith Martin. I'm a gamer. I'm a drummer, Zildjian, as in Zildjian symbols. And most importantly, I am a cartoonist. Yesterday, I picked up a new webcam. I hooked it up. We're trying it out. I have my Turtle Beach headset that I've had for a couple of years now. And I'm using the equipment together and testing it out, seeing if this might be something I can use in like a live stream application. Over the last year, I've kind of picked up on Twitch and started to follow some people that draw and paint using the creative channel in Twitch and thought maybe that might be something I could do. So we're just testing it out. I've been drawing most of my life. In grade school, it was just simple doodles. Uh, in middle school and high school, I started to focus more on cartoons with the emphasis that maybe one day I could build a comic strip, put it together, and get it into newspapers. Unfortunately, around the end of high school, beginning of college, the newspaper industry took a huge hit. The internet was really blowing up. News sites were popping up all over the place, and it was so much easier for someone to turn on their computer and get their news that a lot of people were just canceling their newspaper subscriptions. And a lot of newspapers suffered. A lot of them closed. And even though it was difficult to get your comic in the newspapers back in the 70s and 80s, it became extremely hard in the 90s and now to today. So a lot of young artists at the time thought, why not get, you know, with the rise of the internet, why not put my comics on the internet? So that's what we did. In 2003, I got my first PC, and that's when I really started putting my comics on the internet. Um, I did my own comic called Zack, that's spelled Z-Z-A-C-K. I did that for a few years, and it's spelled Z-Z because the main character's name is Zack Zimmerman. It's the name that dates back to middle school. I believe the source, the reason why the character name came up, I'll leave that between my best friend and me at the time. But yeah, it ZZ is for Zach Zimmerman. So I did that for a few years until my my gaming hobby led me to a PC game called Battle for Middle Earth. And I joined an online gaming community that focused on that game. The company or the community site was called MEMW. I got to a point one day where I'm like, why don't I draw cartoons for the site? So I started drawing cartoons. And it was a good experience. I can't say that I was you know, hitting them out of the park, blowing people away. But it was a good experience for me. And I, I'm you know, appreciative of the, the fact that I had that opportunity. I uh, eventually transitioned to a new gaming site called rtscommunity.com and I was drawing cartoons for them for a period of time, drawing a cartoon called RTSC TV and that stands for Real Time Strategy Cable Television and it was a, a couple of kids and they had a public access uh, show based on games. So that was a lot of fun. I did that for a period of time, then eventually branched back into Zach, did some Zach comics for a while, and then ultimately ended up doing Zach Back, which is my current comic that I work on, and it's a young version of Zach. And it's the reason why it's called Zach Back is it's a play on the name Flashback. Zach Back Flashback. So as I said, over the last year, I have learned about live streaming and started following people on Twitch and thought this might be something I could try. So I have, for digital aspect, I have Clip Studio and I have a Wacom Intuos 3 drawing tablet. I typically draw traditionally. I draw my comics by hand. I use a graphite pencil, a 6H graphite pencil. It's a very hard graphite lead, and I use that because it leaves a very fine line. I don't usually need a heavy weight line to, to ink from, so I draw a very fine pencil line. 
and then I ink, and then when I come back over with a plastic eraser, you would never know a pencil line was ever there. So I do that by hand, ink by hand, then scan it into the computer, and then finalize it using programs uh, like Corel Draw and Adobe Illustrator to actually finish my comic and put it on the web. Lately, I've been using uh, Clip Studio with the Wacom tablet because I want to get a little more experience with that. I've had this Wacom tablet for over a decade, and it's still a learning process for me. It's just it's very difficult. A lot of artists say the same thing. It's very difficult to to draw on a tablet while you're looking at a screen up in front of you. So it's something I have to continue to work through and I value the opportunity of doing it and through like a Twitch live stream because it gives me that experience and it gives me that ability to keep plugging away and hopefully over a period of time it will become more of a natural process for me. It won't be such a uh, difficult thing to pick up and to and to do. But I also hope that with my live stream process, I can also show some of what I do traditionally as well and maybe, you know, get my webcam and hook it up into a, uh, you know, into a position over top of my table and actually show my hand-drawn uh, abilities as well and sh put that in the live stream process. But that's it. I just wanted to share my uh, a little bit of my history, but most importantly, get this in a, a test format to see if this might be something I could do on a uh, on a live stream application. So I thank you for watching, and uh, if you uh, want to follow me, I will have my links down below uh, below the video. Thank you very much.